everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we are taking a look at the remainder of what I purchased from Jouer Cosmetics including their newest collection, the Jet Set Collection. So if you're interested in taking a peek with me, stay tuned. My first order with Jouer Cosmetics was for their Skinny Dip collection, and I purchased the Skinny Dip palette, the Skinny Dip lip topper, and three of the Skinny Dip highlighters. Um, I'm hoping this latest order I have from them has a highlighter in it. I'm hoping it doesn't come like this, but I'm sure you can probably see the powder in there. That's when I knew I was in trouble. You know, when you open something and it looks like this, you know you're in trouble. So this is the way both of my skinny dip... Oh, shoot. But anyways, you can probably see it's obliterated. And here's the second one. I'm not even going to try and open that up because you can see it's a mess. So, you know, it's they're, they're beautiful. The products appear to be beautiful but I have not been able to use. It's just dumping everywhere, sorry. Ah, oh God, what a mess. Let me clean this up, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> but like I said, I haven't been able to use not a one of them. It's been really disappointing to me because I paid for those and I still don't have one I can use. And no, I was not refunded for them. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, and let me show you the Skinny Dip palette really quick. I am gonna use this. You know, this is all super reflective, so it's probably going to have a hard time picking up here. And I will do some swatches here for this. I mean, these are really intensely reflective. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, shiny. That is, that's incredible. I mean, that is intensely reflective. So that one is Starlight. The next one is called Bikini. And if I remember, Kriya, yeah, this one, this is the only one in the palette that I would consider a dud. Because see it, see in comparison, it just, I don't know. It, I don't know what's up with this one. But you can see in comparison there, there is no comparison. Because it's right here. And it just doesn't do anything. And then we bounce to Skinny Dip. And we are back in Reflection Territory. I mean, see that? I mean, in between those two real reflective ones and you don't see anything in there. Poor little bikini. Yeah, she's not, she's not doing too good. Then we have Tan Lines. And Tan Lines is beautiful. Has a nice, beautiful, you know, not as high of a reflection to it as, you know, like the silver. But it's not that kind of color. But it does have a beautiful reflection. And then we go to the next one, which is Magic Hour. This one's a little bit chunkier in the pickup on it, but it still has a beautiful reflection. I absolutely adore that color. That one's probably my favorite, outside of the silver. But I, I just, oh, that color, she's just gorgeous. And the last one in the palette is Midnight Swim. she's a beauty too. So there we go. There's Midnight Swim. There's a look at all of them. So that is the Skinny Dip palette. They're called Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows. I believe I placed two or three different orders to get all of their lip toppers. I'm going to record a separate video where I swatch all these for you because there are just, if I do all these in this video, we're not getting through it. This is my latest order from Jouer. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it right here with you and let's pray that the powder products in here are not broken. Okay, again, this is the Jet Set collection I ordered and uh, I will put links down below for all of it. It is Jouer's newest collection that I'm aware of. I did purchase this all myself. This is not PR, don't I wish. If I remember correctly, I purchased the biggest collection they had. So let's just go ahead and take all this out. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Look at that. They have it all wrapped in like a rose paper. 
Boy, there's a lot in here. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Let's just go through these one at a time and see this tissue paper is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? What a unique little touch. Let's go through and open all these and I'll be right back. I thought I purchased the largest collection they had which had a makeup bag in it, but there's no makeup bag here. I've got every product except for the makeup bag, so I don't know if they forgot the makeup bag or I didn't order it. Okay, oh my god, there's so much here. This is going to be a long video, you guys. I'll cut it down as much as I can, but I'm, you know, you guys said you want to see me unbox and use, so that's what we're doing here, and this is there's a lot here. Okay, let's start with everything is not only wrapped in tissue paper, but then in bubble wrap. So I'm going to get everything out of bubble wrap, and I'll be back. Okay, so let's start first with, this is called the Essential Jet Set Matte eyeshadow palette. Oh, I didn't realize this was an all matte palette. Huh. Oh. One thing I've noticed about Jouer, just like with the Skinny Dip palette and other products I've purchased from them, is their boxes, their boxes are always considerably bigger than their products. I don't know if they're doing this to try and help with damage, you know, because if there's more cushioning around the product, but uh, this is a beautiful exterior palette. Look at this. This is gorgeous. It's much smaller than I thought it was going to be, but she's beauty. So on the front, we've got leopard type motif, like, you know, leopard spots over here, and it's in kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's like a dark brown, rich brown reflective. And then on the back, we've got the shades there. So let's open her up and pray to all that's holy, nothing's broken. Good, good, good. Looks like this comes with a little brush and a mirror up top here, and then there are the colors. So it's a real basic matte palette. Kind of your everyday from white to black neutral palette with a pop of warmth in there. Oh, huh, okay. That's really pretty. So we're going to try that. Next, we have the Sunswept Bronzer Duo Palette. This is what I was really excited about. Now I got this in the, the collection is available in light to medium or medium deep or medium to dark. Or you can, of course, these products you can purchase all individually. Now see again here with the size of the product versus the box. They, they have a lot of extra room on both sides of the box there. I think that's done probably to prevent breakage, but real pretty palette. Look at that beautiful palette. Just like their blushes on the back, it has the colors. And let's see what she looks like. Pretty. And of course it has a mirror. It's the same compact as the blush comes in. And there are the two shades for the light to medium. It's all the reflections wreaking havoc. There we go. That's more accurate looking, I think. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I'm so scared of these anymore. So this is the powder highlighter, the new one that comes in the collection. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. And there's the compact that they come in. Thank God. This is the first one I've received that hasn't been broken. Thank you, Lord. Look at that. And the shade on this beautiful little compact is Celestial. Moving along. Now this largest one, this largest collection that I purchased came with four lip kits. Okay, so each one it looks like comes with a long wear creme lip liner, a long wear lip creme, and a long wear lip topper. So it's nice. It's, you know, and here's the box. And on the back it shows that you know, the products that are in the kit and the ingredients. This one is called Le Nude. So that slides out. Oh, how cute! It looks like a trunk. Look at that. It has the little things on the side that look like a trunk. How do you open it, though? How the hell is it open? Oh, I see. Okay. That's unique. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. It opens like that. And there are the products. They appear to be, I was, ex you know, I thought these were full size, but they're definitely not. It looks like it's a full size lip liner and the lip cream and the lip topper look to be deluxe size. 
So that is the La Nude. And same packaging, this is, I guess, La Bay. These don't open very well, they're very stiff. It doesn't want to open very much, but I guess you don't need it to. So this is definitely right up my alley with the pinks and, oh, I love it. The next one is La Rose. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know which one I'm gonna wear. That's La Rose. And the last one is La Pearl. Oh, that's pretty. They did a really nice job with the colors on these. Look at that. I'll record applying all these so you'll see them. I think these are part of the collection too. They're in the same gold packaging. These are called High Pigment Pearl Lip Gloss with Coconut Oil. This shade is Maldives. Maldives. Oh God, that's gorgeous. Oh my Lord. Look at that. So these are a high shine lip gloss. Yeah, I think I ordered these separate. The Biza. And I'll swatch all of them so you guys can see them because hand swatches just don't do jack with lipsticks as far as I'm concerned. And Tullum. I don't know how it's pronounced. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I'll be curious to see how that's different from the first one, the Maldives. Huh, beautiful. And then what came in the collection is their kitten liner. Same gold packaging, and I believe this is just a black, yeah, black eyeliner. Let's see if it's, it's a felt tip liner. So there's the tip on that. Okay, and then the last thing I ordered was the blush because I've been trying to get a hold, as you guys know, of the last blush, which was a door and it was always sold out and they had it in stock so I went ahead and snabbed it up. Now as you can see the difference over here this one is the blush and this is their new bronzer palette. So you can see they did do similar but different packaging which I appreciate so I don't have to figure out which one's which. And again this is the Adore blush. It comes with Adore and Hold Me are the two different colors and oh isn't she gorgeous. Now I know why it's sold out all the time. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? First off, I'm going to start off with the new bronzer. Here, this is just so beautiful. Oh, and they, they're so smooth. So there are the two colors. I'm get it to, really going to be able to see them. So there are the two colors. don't know how this is going to go on my skin tone, but let's find out, shall we? I'm going to take the lighter one first. Their powder products are just gorgeous, you guys. They really are. They're so incredible. I don't know what formula they've put together with these, but their powder products, so far in my experience, just blend over the skin beautifully. I'm using the uh, lightest shade right now, which is called Sunlight, I believe. I've yet to have any issue with any of their powder products, except for the breaking. I mean, the application-wise, stunning. I mean, absolutely stunning. Their blushes are some of my favorite blushes, and I've been wearing blush a long time to be saying that, let me tell you. And I'm just going to take a little bit over my schnoz here, because obviously I want a suntan look Yeah, on my skin. Never going to happen. But we can always hope, huh? Okay, and I'm going to go into the darker one and just try it. See how it works to add a little more depth to my face here. Yeah, nice. I think the color for fair tone skin, almost there. It's got, um, I would call this more of a yellow base. It's not orange. You know, a lot of bronzers we see have a lot of orange in them and it just, ugh. This is not orange but it does have a very strong yellow base to it. I think if it had just a tiny bit, you know, I mean, it's beautiful, I'm not complaining, but for my skin tone, I think if it had just a tiny bit more red in it, it would just be almost perfect for my skin tone. Okay, moving along, let's go to blush, and of course, as always, I buff everything after, <laughs> let's keep burping today, I, I buff everything afterwards. If I can talk, I'm going to use the new blush do I finally got a hold of, Adore, which has Adore and Hold Me, I believe. So 
are they matte? Let's hang on. Let's look at the colors here first. Okay, so we have one that's a looks like one's a shimmer, which is this one here, and then a, I, is it matte? I can't even tell. The new bronzer, and here's the blush, shimmer matte. So let's go ahead and try. Ooh, boy, this one really has an enormous amount of kick up in the pan. Their powders are very delicate. Now, I did not have... Are you kidding me? Please excuse our landscaping going on right now. I uh, did not know that they were going to start right at this moment while I'm filming. And since this is the only time I have to film, I have to do it now. Okay, so I put the mat back here. Now let's go in with this more shimmery one and just right on the front of the cheeks. Yeah, this one, um, even though all of their powder products are incredibly delicate, like these are not products I would tell you to travel with. Unless you have some way to really pack them safely, I would not advise traveling with these because they just break so easy. But this one, uh, what's this again? The Adore Blush Duo. This one is seems to be much more powdery than the other two I have. But I still love it. Love it. Beautiful blush. They, they just... Jouer kills it with their powder formula. I don't have experience with any of their eyeshadows or anything yet, so we're going to find out. Okay, I'm ready to move on to the eyes, but I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick and I'll be right back. Because I want to be able to buff this in really good, I'm just going to use a denser brush. I'm using the Morphe G40. Let's see what she does. Oh wow, that's it is very, very pink. See that? Let's try it on my schnoz. Yeah, it's um, it's got a lot of lot of pink. <laughs> very, very, very pink. Let me see here. Let me get a swatch of it and see if I can show you guys. Let's try a little bit more. See if it'll show up on my finger. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I have to say, for my skin tone, this is not my favorite. Um, can you see it now? A little more direct light on it. I mean, it has, look at that, I mean, it's pink. Wow. Sitting here in the dark with a flashlight on my face. <laughs> I'm so wacky. But I was hoping you'd be able to see. I can't really tell it. It looks like you're seeing, I'm seeing some pink reflection there, but it's pink. I mean, it's, um, I think, you know, I love pink, but this particular tone of pink, I can't even describe the color. Sorry, I'm mucking around with all this lighting, you guys, but I really want you to see. Yeah. There we go. You can kind of see it there, the color of it. I don't know. Let's just say it's it's not my favorite. Okay, now that I spent a half hour trying to show you the freaking highlighter, let's move on, shall we? Let's get into this eyeshadow palette. Oh, <sighs> basic comes with its own little brush here. Looks like a little dual-ended brush that has a, a little tiny end and this is a very very tiny brush. Probably should swatch these for you before I go any further. I'm not going to say they're nothing special because they're special to the person who created them. What I mean is that the colors don't appear to be anything unique. You know you probably have these colors in your collection. Holy cow! They are, as with all of Jouer's powders, they are, as you can see, appear to be very pigmented and very, very delicate. So there's the first three on my skin tone. And this is a six shadow palette. And I will put all the pricing and everything down below. 
or on the screen, one or the other. You can see, I mean, that's that black has some Shazam to it. So there are all the colors in this palette. So it's a beautiful, you know, if you're looking for a basic uh, neutral palette, this is perfect, especially something you can, you know, take on the go with you. I do not know how delicate these are, though, so they are very powdery, very pure, very delicate. So I'm going in just with the lightest shade, and this is my Natasha Denona number 10. I'm just going to go all over the lid. You know, if you're somebody who doesn't like a bunch of snazzy colors and, you know, stuff like that, you just like to keep it beautiful and basic, this is the palette for you. Next, I'm just literally going to go from left to right. Don't know that I'll use that black because it looks to be incredibly black. We're just going to work our way along. Next, I'm, and I'm using all more people. Yeah, these are really powdery, you guys. They're having... I mean, I barely touched it, and it's, yeah, I'm sure you can see it's kicking up in the pan there. So these are very delicate. They appear beautifully pigmented. I mean, I'm just barely going to touch the product now, because you if you go in hard on these, you'll ruin them. There's no question. Just blending beautifully. These first two colors, if you have darker skin, much darker than mine, they're not going to show. So let's go into the third one, which is a nice, just pretty brown. And that one, again, you know, they're all, so far, they're all loaded with pigment, but the shades just, you know, it's the shades that, the reason I'm saying you won't see them on your skin tone if you're much darker than I am, because, you know, they're just light shades, blending beautifully. This is the kind of palette I could use for just, you know, if I want to just add some definition to my eye. Quick, nothing fancy, in and out, this is, this is what I would pick up. Now, let's see here, I'm just going to follow right along. Let's go with this next darkest one. And, you know, I mean, you just barely have to touch these. They are, they're packing pigment in them. This one looks like a blackened brown. Or maybe a, what is that? It's like a plum brown, very dark plum brown. Definitely has some purple in it, at least from what I can see. Now that one, I'm, ha I'm having a little bit of difficulty with this particular one. This fourth shade in here, kind of the blackened plum. It just kind of wants to... It's not, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not, but like right here it just won't stick. Right in the corner of my eye and it's getting a little patchy. But this side, it looks much nicer. I'm doing the same darn thing on both sides. Really pack the pigment on there and see if I can get it to, yeah. I don't know, that's not, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but like right there, I just have a spot. And I know if I go over it again, it's going to disappear. So I'm not going to touch down there, but rather try and just blend it a little up here. So far, I, I like all the colors, I just don't care for this one. So I'm going to go into this kind of reddish tone one, and let's just pack over this and see hopefully it doesn't ruin the whole eye look. Very pigmented when a red tone color can go over a black tone. That that says something. So far I I like the color scheme of the palette, but I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm doing something wrong here, but I feel like they're kind of muddying together a little bit. I don't know. Um, let's just move to the lower lash line. How about that? I'm just taking the lightest color here. Jeez. They're a little bit too powdery, in my opinion, just because of the amount of kick up that I'm having here. But, can't be perfect. Boy, these are just so delicate. You know, if they could cut down on how powdery these are, 
how much kick up there is in the pan, they'd be beautiful. I mean, they're kind of like right there in my opinion. But having something that, ah, uh, I just messed it up. Dang it. Having something that is this delicate, I just don't, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's only my personal opinion, but I just don't think it works in the consumer market real good. Because, um, you know, the general consumer wants to be able to have a palette or a product, whatever it may be, that they can, you know, take with them when they're going somewhere and something that's, oh, it, it's just really powdery, really delicate, really powdery. I'm going to try just a little bit of the black right at, literally right at my lash line because it is black. I decided I'm not putting that in my look because I already had a little bit of a challenge with that deepened plum color. It's nice to have a real dark black in here though. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this right along the lash line even though I have a liner to try out. Let's just blend that out. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a palette that's taken a beating for how very delicate I was with it. Uh, the colors, come on, focus. The colors are very pretty, but this one here, I had this fourth shade in the palette. I just had horrible trouble with that, and it kind of seemed like once I did that, then everything else went downhill. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's... It's a pretty palette. It's just, I don't know. You know, it's basic look. But what I'm going to do is we're going to zhuzh it up a little bit. We're taking out Mr. Skinny Dip here because I want to go into Magic Hour, which is this beauty right over here. And I'm going to take out my MAC 24 Hour Prep and Prime. If you don't like sticky stuff on your eyelids, but you want something that's going to hold the shadows there, especially ones that have any kind of glitter in them. This Prep and Prime by MAC is a godsend. Because you'll see how the shadow, the glitter will stick to this. It's pretty amazing. Now let's go into our skinny dip. And again I'm taking Magic Hour and I'm going to pick it up on a brush first and see. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh man, you guys, look at that. And that is without any, that's just dry, baby. That is straight up frickin' dry. Oh my god. That's just gorgeous. That is absolutely freaking gorgeous. This right here, in my opinion, is what Jouer needs to be coming out with more of. Because they they just, whoa, they just nailed that shit. Excuse my language. I don't mean to sound crude, but that's gorgeous. Okay, next. In this MAC base here, I'm telling you guys, it literally, it's not sticky on the eyelids. Like, for instance, you know, the nightmare trouble I had with my Too Faced glitter glue. You know, it just sticks to everything and oh, I just had such a hard time. But this MAC Prep and Prime, not at all. Now remember, this is just a dry brush, people. Dry brush, okay? You ready for this one? Watch this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> See, now this is what makes this is what makes my heart pitter-patter right here. Look at that. See how it sticks to that? MAC 24 hour base prep and prime is especially any girl's friend, but it's a mature woman's friend without a doubt because it does not, you know, you, some of these other glitter adhesives can really give your eyes a lot of texture and a lot of buildup. And this one doesn't. It just 
but boy, I'll tell you, you put anything over it, any, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to have glitter in it, I'm just talking about metallics and glitters right now because I'm using one. It will adhere anything. Look at that, you guys. Is that not a gorgeous color? Wowza. I'm going to take a little more MAC Prep and Prime right probably think I'm nuts doing this right on top of what I just did and this could end up being a disaster or it could end up looking absolutely freaking gorgeous but you know what I'm dying to use that silver so mama's gonna use that silver Ooh, this is starlight okay we ready oh lord have mercy oh Oh, this is the kind of thing that makes my heart pitter pat. That is straight up aluminum foil, you guys. I mean, come on now. Look at this. Watch. Look at the shine in that. That is the Skinny Dip palette from Jouer. Look at that. Are those not gorgeous? And guess what? I got one for you. <laughs> oh yeah I got one for one of you guys okay let's try don't know why I'm shaking it <laughs> idiot okay it's it's been a long day now we're gonna try their kitten liner again uh, it's a felt tip if my camera will please I don't know what the frick is going look at that in the light balance what's going on Ugh. oh lord have motherful mercy there is a lot of ink and a lot of pigment coming out of this so please don't let me screw this up holy cow you guys this has some absolute serious pigment to it but a lot of liquid liners that I've tried they just don't have much ink in them it seems like you know even when I get them brand spanking new well obviously I get them brand spanking new that's a dumbass thing even when I get them new, like I get them used. <gasps> That's a nice liner, you guys. If you like a felt tip liner, I would highly recommend trying this. It is incredibly pigmented. It is very wet. So it not so wet like you saw in my Wet n Wild video where like the wet went, oh god, no. Not like that. No, it's just a wet in that you know, you don't have to tug on your eye to lay it down. You touch that felt tip to your eye where you want color, and it lays color. Just did an itty bitty baby baby wing. Okay, now, next thing here. Okay, I am done with the mascara. And I also put on my favorite. This is my favorite black liner. If you want a liner that is blacker than night itself, you get Pat McGrath's Permagel Eyeliner in black. And I'm telling you, it's black. And it stays where you put it. it is, there's no tug on the eyes. It's just absolutely incredible. I've been bragging about it since I got it, you guys know, which has been well over a year because I got that in her labs kit. And then I finished off with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara, which I love. I have no lashes on, but you know what? I just figured... I kind of like it without lashes. Okay, now, I know this is a long video, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm going as fast as I can. Now let's get to the lip kits. You know, I, I think what I'm going to do, because there are four of these, they have a lip liner, a creme lipstick, and a lip gloss. I am going to record this in a separate video so you guys can actually see all of them. And I'm going to record... A separate video lip swatching all of the Jouer lip products I have because there's a lot of them you guys and these lip kits are going to take some time and quite frankly I think they're pretty enough that they deserve their own video but what I will do is put one of them on right now I think should I just go with let's just go with the nude how about that oh boy these are really in there how do you get them out uh how do you come out Okay, this is a problem. Well, that's something they definitely need to work on in the future for packaging, is these are real nice foam cutouts, but there's no notch 
like for the lip liner and stuff. You know, these were big enough and sticking up that I could grab a hold of them, but this isn't. Oh, for God's sakes. Are you kidding me? And the foam won't pull out, so you can't pull it out and push it out from behind. Oh, this is fucking insane. 20 minutes later. I had to get my tweezers to get this out. Okay, so here we go with the lip liner. Beautiful, beautiful gold with the color on the end. I love this design. Again, this is called La Nude. And it is retractable. Nice. So, focus. There is the La Nude. Let's see how... Cr oh my god. That is... Watch this. I'm not going to put any pressure, you guys. Look at that. Oh, Mama might really like this. Just when I need something else to like. Okay, let's try this out, shall we? Um, the color itself, I don't think, is for me. But there's a lot of people out there. Look at this. I mean, look. Look. This is like a lipstick. Wow. This is the smoothest lip liner. Wow. Uh, I'm going to put a little, just a little bit more, not just a little bit more definition here on the outside because this color is too yellow for me. Okay, and then, like I said, these are not full size. They're like little deluxe size. Wow, they're really sealed. This is the lip cream or creme. has a typical Jouer like creme brulee scent. That is incredibly pigmented. Okay, and now let's put on the little lip topper that goes with this one. Oh, God. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I hope you guys can see this because this is absolutely gorgeous. Jue knows how to make a lip topper, there's no question. Look at that. That's not my color, but God, it's gorgeous. Mm-mm-mm. So again, this is the La Nude. So, there we go. That is the finished look using, I think I used all the products except for, you know, the individual lip kits. So, my final thoughts on everything. Just remember, these are just my first impressions. I think the essential, and I'm going to talk just right now, first about the Jet Set Collection. Which, again, let's start off with this palette. I think it's a beautiful little palette. I do think, though, that the formula on these is a little bit too powdery. I think they're highly pigmented. They're very pretty. But the problem is, is that especially with this runway color, I could not get it to stick to my lid. And it, it was patchy. It just didn't, it didn't work out very good. All the other colors blended beautifully. They laid down beautifully. There wasn't a lot of fallout with them. For a neutral palette, I was very impressed. It was, it's pretty. It's just that there's a lot of kick up. You have to be really gentle with them. But again, I cannot say enough. In my experience, all of Jouer's powdered products are like that. They're all very, very finely milled and you you just don't want to dig into them with your brush because if you do your room I don't care if it's the bronzer the blush the eyeshadows that's the way they are but if you like that very very fine it, it's almost a luxury milling on these I mean they're just so they're really pretty um, so I you know I would say for me is this a must-have if this is something that you know you that you're gonna get a lot of use out of yes if not no uh, I don't think it's an, a must-have because it's you know it's beautiful but it has a lot of 
you know, colors that you can get in any other palette. Moving along to the bronzer, which is another new product for them. Again, I got the Light to Medium Duo. I have no complaints about it. I think the coloring is nice. I, it is a little bit too yellow based for my skin tone, um, but I think this is perfect for people who have a lighter medium skin tone. Um, but it's, you know, if you've got an olive skin tone, this would be right up your alley. But for me, with more of a peaches and cream complexion, when I put products on my skin that have a lot of yellow to them, like you're seeing with this lip color here, it kind of makes me look a little sickly. And that's nothing against the product, remember. That's just coloring. It's just my coloring and, you know, just the way it is. But as for the quality of the product, it is absolutely superb. I cannot say enough good about the bronzer and the way it blended into my skin. It's a stunner. Moving along to their kitten liner. Uh, I think this is a beautiful liner. It's a fine tip, has a longer tip on it, but it is a, it narrows down to a very fine tip. Uh, it is highly pigmented and it is what I would call a very wet liner. Um, so it's not something that you have to drag across your eyelid to get color from. You literally just set the felt tip to your eye and just move it a little and it does the work for you. Now as for these lip kits, um, I will give full review on these individual kits in the next video that you'll see where I'm going to swatch all of these for you. But I will tell you this, these are beautiful. You get, you know, a lip liner in here, you get the liquid creme, and you get a lip topper. Their lip toppers are absolutely amazing. Wait till you see the video where I swatch all of them. I'm hoping I can get real close-up shots on that so you guys can see the true panorama of colors that are in these lip toppers. They're really amazing this is worth every penny. I do think in the future if they do something like this though, they need to have some way to get the product out of the packaging. <laughs> Each one of these has an exterior sleeve on it that says the name and shows the products on the back. Then you open that and you've got this little trunk design that looks almost like a little a Gucci trunk or something. And then you open that and there. I mean, really wonderful presentation and awesome product. I'll have more coming on that in the next video. Moving along to products that I purchased but were not in the Jet Set collection. Oh my god. You know, if there is one thing out of all of Jouer's products I would recommend you try, it is their blushes. They truly are. You know, I've never been a big blush person and you think I would because of how white I am, but I never have been. I never got into blushes for some reason. These these have changed. These These crank me. These really do. First off, the packaging, like all of Jouer's products, is absolutely beautiful. But this is where the magic is. And of course, all of them have mirrors. I mean, they really, you know, I think her name is Christine, but the class that she has, you see come forth in her packaging. It's very classy, uh, very uh, reminiscent of, um, I don't know, I get, I think of old when I look at this. I think of old uh, and I don't mean old, you know, in a bad way. I mean historic. I think of Renaissance. I think of um, England. I, I think of, I'm, you know, I don't know. Her packaging and the design of it just brings me back to a real classic era of design. I love it. But most important is what's inside. These are, without a doubt, the most finely milled, softest, silkiest, most gorgeous blushes I have ever used. But if you're interested in seeing me use any of these, you can look pretty much in any video in the last month and a half, two months, and I've used these blushes. This baby. Oh, Lord have mercy. You know, I knew I was going to be excited about this when I purchased it, when I saw it, because if there's a metallic, I will love it. It's just that simple. There's just different degrees of love. Like, for instance, Dose of Colors, they came out with all the singles. I want those so bad. I wanted to purchase the entire collection so that I could... I, I wasn't even going to do arm swatches. I was going to eye swatch them all for you guys. But the entire collection's $350. Without trying them and knowing, and I thought, well, I'll purchase a couple. Of, if they're really worth that price point, then I'll buy the collection. But then I thought, well, that's stupid because 
you know, if I'm buying them at $20 a piece and I buy four of them, you know, almost $100 there and the whole collection is three. Anyway, so I just got myself into a tangle over it and ended up not purchasing it at all. And of course, I reached out to Dose of Colors to ask them if they would allow me to, you know, to show, to swatch them all and have them to use on my channel. But they wrote back to me and told me they're not accepting influencers right now. So, in other words, you don't have a big enough following and you're too old. <laughs> That's about what it ends down to. Anyways, uh, but long story short, I, if there's a metallic and it's good, I'm going to recommend it to you because there's one thing I know. I know my metallics. I know my foils. I know my shimmers because I have been using them for too many years to count. You look back at pictures of me in high school all the way up to current now, I have had a metallic, a shimmer, a shine on my eye. I have never ever ever been a matte girl and I never will be whether it's on my lips or it's on my eyes I like shine this is amazing I mean watch this let me put my hand up look at that shine this palette if you like highly metallic shadows there's not a lot in here there's only six in here but I'm telling you it's worth every penny they're gorgeous I want Jouer Please, please, for the love of God, make more of these. I would love to see a palette like this in jewel tone colors. Oh my God. Do you know what I mean? Again, like I said, this bikini one, the second one in here, I don't know what's up with that, but it just has no, nothing. In comparison, especially when I take this and I, I mean, look at that. When I compare that with the rest of the palette, it's lackluster. It, I mean, I have to be honest with you. And it's formed like a hard pan over it. It's, you know, you can clearly see that. The rest of these, though, I mean, I don't care which one of these I stick my fingers in. They are all incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful I am. Look how beautiful I am. Boom. Okay. Enough said. Enough said. What I want to do, literally, I have visions of taking my fingers in this and doing like this big whiskers on my face. And of course, I also purchased three of the high pigment pearl lip glosses. You will see those in an upcoming video because this one is just long enough. Do I like the Jet Set collection? On the whole, I think it's a beautiful collection. I think, you know, you heard what I said of every individual product. Is it a must buy? I don't know if the collection as a whole is a must buy. It depends on what products you like and the colors you like. Because remember, when you buy the collection as a whole, you're getting everything. Is it worth the money? Absolutely. They have a collection available that has a beautiful bag. Where's the... Actually, they have two collections available that have this beautiful bag. See it here? They have one collection that has the smaller bag and I think another collection that has this one. I could have swear to God I ordered that, but for some reason it's not here. Now, I did order this the day that it released. I mean, literally the moment it released I snagged it up. It is limited edition. And again, I'll put all the prices of everything. They have so many different varieties. That's what I love about Jouer. They don't just give you one option of, oh, you have to buy this that has everything in it. They have options where you can buy it all the makeup, where you can buy it all the makeup and the bags, which is what I thought I purchased. Apparently not. And of course, now it's on sale. The collections are on sale right now, which is wonderful for you. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I mean, the products are beautiful. I think they're, you know, they are at a price point. Like, for instance, the Bronzer Duo is $30 on its own. Uh, the Kit and Liner is $18. The Lip Kits are $25. Now, I'll tell you one thing. Is this worth $25 to get a lip liner, a deluxe size lip product, and a deluxe size lip topper? Only you can decide that. I think that's a pretty fair price point for that. So, anyways, like I said, I will put all the links for all the different collections and products down below in case you're interested to take a peek at them. I'm sorry this took so long, you guys, but it's a lot of product. You wanted to see it, and you wanted to see it applied. So there is my finished look 
created using the Jet Set Collection and the Skinny Dip palette from Jouer. Now, on to the fun part for you guys. I purchased two different things for you. Like I said, you watch my videos, this is what happens. I sneak stuff in occasionally. I am giving away the Jouer Skinny Dip Collection eyeshadow palette. The stunner you just saw me put on my eyes. The metallic goddess beauty. And I am giving away the Longwear Lip Cream Duo in the shade... What shade did I buy? It comes with two products in here, which is wonderful, and they are both full size. One is Melon. It is a matte, warm, pink nude. And the other is Citronade Rose, which is a metallic ballet pink. So there is the duo. It's going to be up to you guys from this point. So what I'd like to know is, do you want one winner to receive both of them, or do you want two winners? You let me know in the comments. I will have a link to enter the giveaway, as always, down below. But here's the thing. You have to comment down below. Leave a message in the comments and say one winner or two. Just like I did before with the Wet n Wild giveaway, whichever one has the majority, well, that'll be it. So if you guys, majority, pick one winner, then one person will get both of these. If you pick two winners, I'll draw two names, and the first name will get the Skinny Dip Palette, and the second name will get the uh, Lip Cream Duo. I think that's fair, don't you? I hope you guys like it, because boy, I'll tell you, so far, I'm loving it. Okay, so that's it for this one, you guys. Again, I'm sorry it's so short. I'll try and edit down as much as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Wherever you're at in the world, I hope life is treating you well. And if you're having struggles, you're beating the bitches back and persevering. Remember, don't let anyone tell you no. Don't ever think you can't do something. Don't let other people discourage you and tell you you can't do something. If you have a dream, set your mind to it. Set your goals and go after it with everything you've got. And you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. And remember... When you're out in the world on a day-to-day -day basis, treat people you meet with love and respect. Until next time, I love you. Bye!